I'm so cancer. Let's see what's coming your way. And when it comes to love, and we do have seven of wands and the king of swords. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy, but somebody is still blocking, a little bit defensive, needing their time, their space. Seven of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, not making any move at this time. And being stuck somewhere. Um, it's a loving energy, Pentacles, and yet it is in reverse, right? So they don't have a lot of nurturing at this time. And the devil in reverse, they are really fighting their own demons at, at this time. So somebody is blocking because they are healing. Capricorn energy too. Seven of Wands and the world in reverse, they are stuck at this time. Again, a confirmation, we don't have a lot of movement. Um, cancer at this time. The energy right now. Seven of Wands, Four of Cups, not paying attention. Seeing the missed opportunity, but not uh, focusing on it right now. Defensive, blocking, needing their time. Three of Pentacles. Some of you might be dealing with somebody really focused on work and making money. Consolidating a partnership, a job, a skill. Seven of Wands, Five of Swords in reverse, right? Not really focused at this time of solving a, a, on solving a conflict. Right, an energy of fighting, an energy of disagreement. Bottom of the deck, two of wands. So we do have the energy of crossroads, the overall energy for the second um, week of November. We do have crossroads and yet not opening lines of communication, six of cups. It is a soulmate connection, it is a bond. We still have love um, and we need to make a choice. So let's see what this is, uh, what the choice is all about. So past energy is on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Current energy is on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome. On your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Pentacles. Might be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. And at this time, at this time, we are contemplating a change, a choice, and we are looking back with love at this time. So past energy is Cancer on your side, you and this person, the lovers in reverse, Gemini energy, and the page of pentacles. You know how it feels? It feels like, um, you know, the love might have been a little bit... Um, Less, in, less intentional, less intense, less everything, but became more practical. Page of Pentacles, right? Um, it has an energy where, you know, the passion might have been, um, you know, I don't want to say forgotten, but this is how it feels, right? A little bit of um, an energy between the two of you or communication was, you know, maybe some rejection from time to time. Um, communication and choices, maybe not that clear. But still, we were in that energy of Page of Pentacles, you know, we still had something for this person and they still had something for us. Um, it has the energy of, um, you know, of a love connection that was once passionate and, and very deep with the Six of Cups and Lovers. And it became a little bit of an emotional disconnection, but still seeing, um, you know, um, a friendship in it and a, um, a possibility to build on solid grounds with a page of pentacles. Cancer, this person of yours, the lovers and the world, they probably chose to put an end to this connection. Um, that was love, if that was your question, and I feel that somebody really wonders if there was a deep love between the two of you. Absolutely, it was one. Six of Cups, lovers and lovers. Um, profound confirmation for somebody that it was a nurturing connection, a loving one. We were um, able to build something together with the Queen of Pentacles, but then we disconnect and, end, um, and an ending happened, right? And somebody said, time to move on. Mutual energy is between the two of you in the past. We do have the Seven of uh, Pentacles upright and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So very patient very patient i feel that money what a problem and probably that's how this connection ended because we were 
waiting for results, waiting for investments, waiting for somebody to get a job, waiting for somebody to be independent financially. Um, you know, and um, and then Nine of Pentacles in reverse happened, right? Um, uh, instability, instability, and all that patient, you know, became kind of a a deal breaker for somebody with the world, and then an ending happened. Of course, it's the world, so it's kind of like the universe took somebody out of this situation. Can be you, can be your person, um, Cancer, right? We know the uh, major arcana are about life events, so we don't always have control, and it's not always intentional. Or we can have, you know, manifestation about, but this is a little bit how it feels. Somebody said, you know what, this is over and my destiny is someplace else. Um, especially the one that needed that stability. There is a need for stability and that is a major instability in this connection, at least what happened. So Cancer, where are we right now? We don't have the full and the Ten of Swords in reverse. So we are healing this betrayal, right? We counted on them. That's, the, you know, the um, um, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. We counted on them. We wanted them to be practical and and nurturing and loving and present. And now we uh, we are healing this broken heart, this betrayal, this we had expectations and they were not met. And we have the form, um, no choice but to jump, right? No chance, no choice but to start over. Um, now this person of yours, they do have the tower in reverse and the ace of swords in reverse. So yeah, keeping secrets and what they are hiding is that their life is on the brink of a disaster. The tower in reverse is avoiding all kinds of explosions and disasters in their life. Disruption, destruction, world falling down in pieces and the ace of swords in reverse, right? Resisting a new beginning and also not sharing that they are in a very a bad spot at this time. Mutual energies between the two of you right now. We do have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, most certainly a rejection, a no thank you, needing time, needing space, and the Wheel of Fortune. We are moving on, wanted or not, right? Uh, you embrace this new beginning, this person is um, kind of walking on eggshells and saying, mm, not sure, you know, I have to go slow. But the universe is not slow at all. We do have the Wheel of Fortune, this is sudden changes, up and down changes. And um, kind of an acknowledgement because the Wheel of Fortune is also destiny and karma. And um, it was meant to be a rejection, right? And it is meant to be a rejection right now because we are dealing with a completely different set of uh, problems, right? Let's see the outcome of the situation. And we do have the four, the six of, sorry, the six of pentacles in reverse and the seven of swords. Um... You know, some food for thought here because we have the Ace of Swords um, in reverse, which is the energy of not telling the truth, not having clear ideas, not having clear communication and messages, not knowing exactly which way to go and not saying something. But then we have the Seven of Swords, which is the energy coming your way is them not being fully honest at this time. Um, and I feel that what they are not honest about is that they are out of balance. Six of Pentacles in reverse, they cannot be generous and kind at this time. They are in quest for balance and yet they are hiding it. Um, and we also have Five of Pentacles in, um, you know, um, financial distress and, and needing support, financial support. And with the Two of Wands really being, I mean, at crossroads and all problems at once uh, present to them. Um, coming their way or the outcome of this is you, um, Cancer, King of um, Cups with a Page of Cups in reverse. So the outcome for them is you. They are focused on you. They see you. Your energy is all over them. Um, they are emotional, still emotional about. Um, King of Pentacles is mature energy, um, is mature emotions, knowing, longing, having a big cup of love but still not talking about pages are about communication and this person is like they are silent like um, a grave right ace of swords in reverse not talking page of uh, cups in reverse not talking seven of swords hiding 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 themselves and hi hiding their um true feelings and 
let's see mutual energies, the outcome in mutual, nine of cups, wish fulfillment and the judgment in reverse. You are each other wish fulfillment, but there is no decision to be made, no decision and no movement when it comes to doing something about. And you are their wish fulfillment. They show up here. You show up in their energy as the outcome. So whatever comes their way in November, it concerns you and yet they are touched by it, right? But again, pages, no communication, not saying a damn thing. And um, still in hiding, still in hiding. And hiding their feelings for you. Um, now, Cancer, let's ask for some guidance. And the question is always the same. Should we say yay? Should we say nay? Should we manifest them or we let go? And the universe says deception. Someone is wearing a self-false mask in this relationship. And guess what? The whole reading on their side is about I'm not saying a word. We do have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So um, maybe your real one. So when it comes to this, what I'm hearing is um, keep an open mind. They might be different. They might communicate differently. Uh, what may um, look like deception actually might be them being different and also religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path and healing family issue, issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive. Your, it says your parents, but actually uh, can be a, this person can be anybody. Bottom of the deck, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Um... Cancer, I, I do feel we're gonna we're gonna look into into this deeper, but I, I kind of feel that um, the universe is asking you to be open about and have clear communication. At this time they deceive you by not saying a word, right? And they don't say a word. Um, probably because they are healing. Um, you know, maybe they need to have an open mind about but you're also asked to have that open mind. They are simply different. That's the message I'm getting and we have to be patient about. And yes, they deceive you by, by being different, right? Because we have expectations. Now let's see what else is there for, for us. And we do have do something for someone. Give your attention to another and it comes right under deception. So yes, they deceived you. And now give your attention to another. Resolving conflict. Keep an open mind and resolving conflict. Right? So you might need to think outside the box when it comes to whatever rejection. Five of pentacles. Money issues you have with this person. Emotional issues. Right? Solving this requires from you to be open-minded. And stretch yourself. We do have religious factors and sexual freedom. So for some of you, this might be really connected. Somebody might have religious beliefs. And when it comes to sexuality, we might not be on the same page. So we free ourselves from this. We do have inner peace, healing family issues to have inner peace, cancer. Somebody here is really, really guided to focus on how can we achieve this and also um, consequently having this healing um, situation in, within the family. Bottom of the deck, look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. So yes, that is deception and yes, we need to stay strong and open-minded about. Looks like they require a lot of work, but also we have homework here, right? Kind of like the universe is saying, resolving conflict and inner peace at this time. What we need to focus on. Um, let's see the energies we need to put back into the flow. And we do have surrender to setting limits. It is healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. So for some of you, you are really guided to put some boundaries in this because it might be too much. Surrender worry. 
So make a commitment not to lead an anxiety-driven life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. So don't worry about setting boundaries. You just put them out there to this person and then we move on. And we reinforce them. It's okay. We do have courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. So don't worry, be courageous. That's a strong message for somebody, clear message. So let's be courageous. Let's set boundaries and limits and not worry about. And um, take responsibility, right? We do have surrender. I can release my need to control. And bottom of the deck, tolerance. You appreciate other points of view because you sense the love in everyone. Speaking of um, resolving, um, resolving conflict, right? Open mind. And now we understand everybody's point of view. So let's have some general guidance and then we say goodbye. We do have divine alchemy. So move beyond current challenges, focus on what you desire, Cancer. We do have karma releasing. Move beyond drama, move beyond current challenges and move beyond drama. That is a message for somebody. I mean, this is too dramatic. This is way too much and this is a challenge. So we can I'll go past that and release karma. Make room for good energy. Right? So we are entangled in something and we are not allowing new energies. Bottom of the deck, dreams of abundance. As you sleep, God, your angels and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers and solutions. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your desires into reality. Just beautiful. So Cancer... I do believe that before we move on, actually the universe is asking you to really uh, close this up properly, um, get your inner peace, get your healing, and then make yourself ready for something new. And that is why we see the crossroads. We are at crossroads, but before we choose something, we need to, uh, to kind of, um, you know, put the, the bits and pieces together or to attach the last bits and pieces of this. Um, so hey, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.